Welcome back to Flowing Mobility Tai Chi and learning our young style Tai Chi form set, the 24 form. Last lesson, we learned the transition or the queen's wave and the transition of turning those doorknobs in space, making sure we don't let our hands float anywhere. They stay on the same axis as we turn those doorknobs. And that's how we transition during our form, which is formally known as parting wild horse's mane, but I call serve the hors d'oeuvre. So let's give this a try, shall we? I want you to go ahead and face towards your left corner. Put your left hand on top, right hand is on the bottom, sitting on your left leg. And we're going to do our Tai Chi walk as we serve the hors d'oeuvre. So step towards 12 o'clock, serve the hors d'oeuvre. Then as in our Tai Chi walk, we weight shift back, toe comes up. And here we're going to turn our toes, our dantian, our nose, and our doorknobs all at one time. Here we go, turning towards your right. Very good, then when we step in, our right hand brings the right foot up for us, and you see here we are all arranged to do serve the hors d'oeuvre towards your left. So stepping towards 12 o'clock, serve the hors d'oeuvre towards 12 o'clock. Now your left hand's on top, right hand's at the bottom. Weight shift back, and we will turn our toes, dantian, nose, doorknobs, all at once. Here we go, just a little bit, 20 degrees. Yes. Then stepping in, and here we are, back to our original position. I'm gonna back up just for a little bit of more space, and let's do this a few more times. So stepping to 12 o'clock, serve the hors d'oeuvre. Weight shift back. Keep your hands exactly where they are. Don't allow them to float. Turn your nose, dantian, toes, doorknobs. And then your right, left hand brings your left foot forward. Turning towards, stepping towards 12 o'clock, serve the hors d'oeuvre. Weight shift back. Turn the doorknobs and your nose, toes, dantian. Right hand brings the right foot forward. This is an empty stance. Serve the hors d'oeuvre. Weight shift back. Turn the doorknobs. Left hand brings left foot forward. I'm gonna back up again. 12 o'clock. Weight shift back. Turn nose, do nose toes, dantian, doorknobs. And step forward, bringing your foot in and towards 12 o'clock. Weight shift back, turn everything at one time. Left hand brings the left foot to the empty stance. 12 o'clock, serve the hors d'oeuvre. Your left hand's on top, right hand's on the bottom. Weight shift back, turn the doorknobs. And right hand brings the right foot up like a broom, sweeps it up. We must connect those two. Keep going. Step and serve. Weight shift back, turn the doorknobs. And you don't have to take a big step. I'm taking quite a large step. I'll make it a shorter step. Weight shift back, turn the doorknobs. Now your right hand scoops the right foot up. Stepping to 12 o'clock, serve the hors d'oeuvre. Turn the doorknobs, stepping in. And scoop that foot in, okay? We're doing multiple repetitions of it for practice. In the 24 yang, we do it three times to start out the form. But for now, since so much builds on this unity of movement and the stepping pattern in our arms, it's nice for us to be able to practice. Plus, it's a Tai Chi form, so you could just practice this and really deepen your, um, uh, not precision, but depth of unifying your body movements and you will gain just a lot from just that form. Okay, shall we try it again? Left hand on top, right hand on the bottom, weights on your 
left, empty stance. We're going to serve the hors d'oeuvre. So we turn and step towards 12 o'clock. Make sure your toe is pointed at 12, not at the corner. Reason is, is if we have to turn more, then it's really hard on the back leg. Okay, so make sure that step, your toe is towards 12 o'clock. Then serve the hors d'oeuvre. You weight shift slightly to the front leg, and then I squirt that heel just a bit in the back. I pivot it on the ball of the foot and squirt the heel. Makes it more comfortable for when I turn towards my right corner. Weight shift back, and here we go. Toes, nose, dantian, doorknobs, all together. It's like a sprinkler. See, all is one thing, one unit. Go, turn, then as you weight shift, scoop the right foot in, I'm sorry, the left foot in and hold your ball. And once again, stepping to 12 o'clock, toe is at 12, serve the hors d'oeuvre, squirt the back heel just a touch if you need to, don't have to, weight shift back. Turn the doorknobs, scoop the foot up. And turn. I'm gonna back up so we can continue. Step. Serve, I squirt the back heel, weight shift back, turn, and step in. Keep going. And we'll shoulder width apart and standing up. Now, common errors that I see in my students, and since I can't see you, I'm just gonna throw them out there so you can self-assess. One thing that I see so much of the time is that they forget the Charlie Chaplin walk. Remember how the Charlie Chaplin walk is more out to the side, okay? It's not about progressing forward on a narrow base. It's out to the side more. So if you're facing your left, your left corner and you make sure that you swing this foot out to the side, and then you have space between the heels here. You see this space there here. That's a bow stance. We want that bow stance. As opposed to going more forward and it being a very narrow stance. And the way you can test this is slide that front foot back on a vertical line, and if it hits your other foot, then you didn't swing out far enough. That's too narrow of a base. Okay, so you swing it out. Now you see if I slide this back and I turn my toe in, I'm shoulder width apart. Maintaining that Tai Chi stance even though our feet are in different positions. Make sure that you're not going forward, just forward that you're swinging back as well and that you have a nice space between your heels and a good bow stance. Okay, and to this side, same thing. Make sure that you're swinging it out and that way you've got space between the heels. All right, and then you can, you can always squirt the heel a little bit back if you need to, so not to torque your knee when we turn. That's the other part of this. And the way you squirt the heel is, is just turn on the ball of the foot and rotate the heel back and you'll find that's a little more comfortable. Now, not all people need to do that, but just to preserve your knee, it's a nice um, little modification. All right, so that's the two common mistakes that I see is that people go too far forward rather than out to the side. Remember, it's really half a stride length forward, but also out to the side and then not squirting that heels and the, therefore they have a 90 degree and that's really hard to get back on here and turn. You see how awkward that is? Yeah, 
Now, if I pivot on that and squirt the heel back, then when I come back and weight bear on it to turn the toe, it's much more comfortable. Okay, well, let's put this together, practice it a few more times together, um, and then in the next lesson, we'll do the proper amount of repetitions, and I'll begin teaching you the next form, which is called brush knee, but I call it push the pie. Lots of food in my Tai Chi instruction. Facing towards your left corner, left hand on top, right hand on the bottom, weights on the left. And now remember to swing that leg out so you have space. So swing it out, but the toe is still pointing to 12 o'clock. Serve the hors d'oeuvre, and you can squirt that back heel if you need to. Weight shift back, I'm gonna back up a little bit. Turn your doorknobs. Now your left hand scoops the left foot up. Again, think of widening your stance. Out to the side, serve the hors d'oeuvre, squirt your heel. Weight shift back. Turn the doorknobs, toes, dantian. And nice space between your feet. Weight shift back, turn the doorknobs. I'm going to back up. Left hand scoops left foot. And one more. and standing up. So that is parting wild horse's mane and is the first form of our 24 young style. I look forward to continuing to work with you and build on that. Now that you've got the stepping, the next move will be even easier because it's the same stepping, it's just slightly different arm movements. So I look forward to teaching you our ne my next lesson for brush knee, otherwise known by me as pushing the pie. Thank you for joining me at Flowing Mobility Tai Chi. And don't forget to turn off that video and practice without watching me. Thank you.